Let's Game Spot. Hello and welcome to the Thanksgiving edition of Let's Game Spot. You may remember last year's Thanksgiving episode where we were in all kinds of a rush to get the show done so we could head home and get something to eat. Well, this year we're a little more relaxed, so of course, we're going to try and take this opportunity to make an even faster show than our previous mark of 5 minutes and 8 seconds. So hold on to your napkin rings and wake up that shifty cousin who ducked out of setting the table by falling asleep on the couch because we've got reviews, previews, news, movies, and trivia. It's all ready for eating, only really, really squished together into some kind of crazy Thanksgiving video game burgoo here on Let's Game Spot. Our first review this week is for Valve Software's PC shooter Half-Life 2. Regardless of how it got here, the game is now available to play with impressive physics, sharp graphics, and a creepy big brother near future land named City 17, where you, as Gordon Freeman, silently shoot aliens, drive vehicles, and eventually save the day. It's way rad. 9.2, what's next? Okay, be straight with me here. How many of you have made it all the way through both Metal Gear Solid and its sequel? And by made it, I mean actually watched all the cutscenes and codec conversations without flipping out and hitting the skip button. Hands down, you're all liars. Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater continues Hideo Kojima's in-depth style of storytelling, and now you can paint your face and eat animals! 8.7 blazing! Recently a new handheld system came out, the two-screened, touch-padded, and stylus-equipped Nintendo DS. Perhaps the best game available during this new platform's launch is a remake of Super Mario 64. It's called Super Mario 64 DS, and has new mini-games and playable characters. 8.4, give me the news! Thanks, Jeff. Valve suspended 20,000 Steam accounts, and Rockstar is releasing a San Andreas prequel movie along with the game's soundtrack. Or, Tim? Some people think it's Ocom developer Zipper has gone bankrupt. They haven't. Bogus. Tim? Thanks, Tor. For more news, click on news. Jeff? My producer's telling me we took way too much time being informative in that first segment, so let's get right to the rest of this week's new releases. Alien Hominid got pushed to this week, GoldenEye Rogue Agent is here, and it could have been better. Sid Meier's Pirates lets you, uh, be a pirate, and World of Warcraft will consume all of your free time if you're not careful. Just ask Brad. And like I said earlier, Nintendo released a new handheld system. Rich! Don't blame me if we don't break the record. If you guys want to watch some cool videos, click the word videos. Hey Jeff, don't stop for nothing. Although the weekend after Thanksgiving might be the craziest shopping weekend of all time, you may want to save some money for a few new releases dropping next week. Square is bringing Final Fantasy 1 and 2 to the Game Boy Advance, there's a new expansion for Painkiller called Battle Out of Hell, and the Prince of Persia is back with Warrior Within. Also, Tom Clancy's name appears once more in front of Ghost Recon 2. Give me some downloads! Oh, you want a demo? Like building stuff in Egypt? Alright, try out Immortal City's Children of the Nile. It lets you build stuff in Egypt. Where's the robot? Happy Thanksgiving, nerds! Question, who were the pilgrims? Have some turkeys, you are welcome. Thanks, robot. Alright, how we doing? Alright, okay, good. Oh man, send an answer, some letters, and an address to the stuff right there. I'm out. GameSpot's got news, reviews, previews, hints, downloads, and movies from the hurried outro of gaming. I'm Jeff Gersman. Give me the credits!